A new treatment could be a game changer for stroke patients, and the first procedure completed in the U.S. happened right here at the Medical College of Georgia. News Channel 6's Ashley Osborne spoke with the doctor who performed the surgery. She's live now in the newsroom with more. Hey Jenny, most of you probably know someone who has suffered a stroke. It's the third leading cause of disability in the U.S. And here in Georgia and South Carolina, we have some of the highest rates. Well, right now at the Medical College of Georgia, doctors are inserting stem cells into stroke survivors' brains to help them regain function. Well, if you've had a moderate or severe stroke, your, your life will, will be changed forever. Dr. Scott Rahimi, a Medical College of Georgia grad and the first surgeon in the U.S. to complete a new procedure for patients who've suffered a stroke. It's exciting that we're part of you know, the process. The people they're working with have had damage to their brain due to lack of blood flow. They're using stem cells because those are the cells that have not yet been assigned a specific function in the body. Dr. Rahimi explains how stem cells can help stroke survivors. Once you destroy brain cells or they're injured, there is no replacement. But the next phase is to see if these stem cells can regenerate tissue and function. He describes how they do it. We pick targets where the patients have had a stroke and implant these stem cells into that very specific area. Best case scenario, what happens? Regaining a function, improvement in either weakness on uh, the one side of the body or weakness in the face. And they do this six to 12 months after the stroke, when the brain has done most of what it can to heal itself but can't do any more. There are some stem cell uh, trials with IV or, you know, initially treat the patient up front. Mm -hmm. But as far as patients have had a stroke, are devastated, have lost function, I mean, there's really not much available besides some medical therapy. Previous trials in the UK proved to help patients regain function. If this works in this scenario, we can do the same thing for trauma patients, spinal cord injuries. It's amazing to me that this is even possible. So how do you avoid having to see Dr. Rahimi? He says, well, you should treat your body like you do a car. You get tune-ups, you get your oil changed. You should do something similar for your body. Get blood work done, see your doctor regularly for things like physicals. And if you do so, you can detect signs that might lead to stroke. Brad, Jenny?